Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dahlia Society and welcome to Pattern Emporium's brand new pattern launch. It's called the With Love Poncho. I'm so glad you could tune in to have a look at this new pattern. Now, if you've ever heard the saying, it's impossible to be unhappy in a poncho, it's true. I know that Kate did mention a lot of people are like, oh no, no, I don't, I don't wear those. Uh, especially if you grew up in the late 60s, 70s, even early 80s when ponchos were really, really big. Um, as a child, I can remember having them with all the fringing and absolutely loving them. felt fearless. Uh, I think it's one of those kind of freeing things to wear. You just feel comfy, cozy and wrapped up. And also, believe it or not, you can look glam in them too. So if you want to find out how I've styled mine and which versions I've made, keep watching. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I know there are a lot of you watching every week that aren't subscribed yet. If you could do that and hit that notification bell, you'll never miss out on any episode I have um, usually twice a week coming out. The With Love Poncho is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you the first version I've got on here. It's pretty chilly here in Melbourne. We're in the middle of winter, but I know a lot of you in the Northern Hemisphere are saying, I'm not ready for that yet. But let me tell you, there are summer versions and transseasonal versions you can make for this pattern as well. You can do it in lace, in mesh, in a t-shirt or a stretchy kind of material. You can make a throw of a kind of a poncho to wear to the beach. They don't all have to be cozy and roll necked. So let me show you what I've made so far. So this first version was made from a beautiful cable knit from Spotlight. It's stretchy, it's quite lightweight for a cable knit, but it's still cozy. And I've just got it over a pair of jeans and some boots and a little uh, stretchy top underneath. And I still feel put together with some little glam earrings, a bit of lippy on. Uh, it's not just for kind of cozying up around the house. You really can make these look glamorous too. Now, as always, when there's a new pattern release from Pattern Emporium, Kate does have other coordinating patterns to go with the poncho pattern as well, all on sale. The sale starts from tonight here, Thursday night in Australia until Sunday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you wanna purchase this pattern and all the other ones on sale, it's a great time to do so. I do have an affiliate link down the bottom. I would really appreciate it if you could use that if you wanted to buy the pattern and that does help to support the channel. But by all means, go and just have a browse and see what you think. Because when I first heard poncho, I thought, not sure if I really need these in the wardrobe, but I tell you, I am a convert already. I love the ones I've made. If you watched the lookbook that Kate put out on Sunday night, you would have seen all the versions she made. And I tell you, there's one that I just am dying to make and I didn't buy fabric. And of course, being in lockdown still here in Melbourne, I haven't had the chance to go and buy any more fabric, but it's made from a sweatshirt fabric. It's got a lovely hood and it's a real sporty kind of cropped version. She's uh, worn that with some foxy style or the foxy um, sweatpants. So that is a fabulous looking little uh, sporty kind of outfit. So you can dress it right down. But I love this in the roll neck. I love the color. I bought this fabric a few weeks back and just straight away thought this is an ideal pattern for it. I have made the regular length, the same uh, length front and back. You can do a high low version. You can do a cropped version. You can do a long version. It depends on what you want. And of course, the more draped the fabric, the more floaty and flowy it's going to look. Now, I love this one. I've just opted for, as I say, the beautiful uh, regular length. I've just done the sleeves uh, a bit shorter. Of course, when you're making this pattern, there are certain things to understand. You don't want to be just grabbing that pattern and starting to cut it out with really looking at your instructions and looking at the way that the pattern needs to be placed and then flipped over 
so you can cut one whole big giant piece because if you're like me and you think now I want to get stuck straight into it and start cutting out you will end up cutting along that fold line and that's a big no-no it says do not cut on this fold pop a little bit of video in so I can explain exactly what I mean but yeah basically you're putting the pattern piece down then you're flipping it over and cutting out the whole piece and then you are putting your template down for your neck hole so that way you can cut out your pattern piece in one giant piece very easy to do the hem the mitered corners great instructions there and you do have different options for the neck so this one here i've made the roll neck let me show you the other versions i've done too the next poncho version I've made is the city look which is that beautiful asymmetrical neck with the button front now I absolutely love that on it's one of my favorite ones I've made it the high low uh, and the buttons I actually had some little wooden buttons that I decided to paint and do a little bit of a marbled effect I think they've come up pretty nice actually I just love personalizing things and if you've got plain wooden buttons it's quite an easy thing to do to match up to an outfit so uh, my daughter actually has got paint pens they're really really easy to use and then I just did a little bit of a smear of the black and wiped it over and I think it looks really pretty with the fabric now this fabric was from Darn Cheap Fabrics here in Melbourne they do have a couple of stores that you can order from online or go actually into the store to buy it's kind of like a lightweight French terry sweatshirt fabric really nice and light and soft but look it just goes to show you you can do this in a beautiful thick chunky woolen knit or something as smart as like a t-shirty kind of jersey knit it's so pretty on with that neckline i just love the way you can really dress that up or just you could also wear it with a pair of like sweatpants or leggings as well how, how comfy would that be just to wear around the house or yeah glam it up for going out put some earrings and some boots on as well if you're wanting a hot weather version of these very very simple to do it in a t-shirt fabric and i do have some beautiful kind of mesh floral fabric that i'm considering making uh, one of these for summer as well i think it will look beautiful over a little tank top with a pair of jeans now i made a size 12 in this normally i'm a 14 but i just thought look sometimes things like this can really swamp me because i don't have uh long arms and long limbs and that's where i find out uh, with my sloping shoulders I can find things really swamp me if they're overly too overly big around the shoulders and the arms so I made the 12 and it was there was plenty plenty of room there uh, really depends on how tall you are I'm five foot six and a half so uh, I'm kind of in the middle not really broad shouldered so sometimes yeah I think things that are, if they're too big they can swamp me a bit but I love the size 12 it's perfect another thing you can do is you can stitch up under the arms if you're wanting to have an opening and that's what I did with the third one I'll let you have a look at that one so the third version is just a regular length same length front and back so i stitched up that underarm section there so you can just uh create like almost like a sleeve hole if you want it to not be as drapey now that fabric was just a beautiful knit fabric that i purchased from pit trading one of their end of bolts fabrics that usually go out really really cheap on a friday night and i had 1.4 meters and it was a perfect amount for that just simple simple neckline you can also do the add-on scarf neckline as well so you've got the four versions you've got the roll neck you've got the normal crew neck or the add-on scarf to put on top of that too you've got the hood and you've got the asymmetric neck with the buttons now make sure following the directions for the buttonholes of course you want to make sure that your buttons are on the front the instructions kate will give you instructions how to put the buttonholes on and how to place the neckline of the neck binding inside the neck hole so you do have that placed in the right order um, yeah things like that just little things it's good to reread your instructions to see exactly how to do it but these are the sort of things you can whip up in an afternoon quite easily or an evening. It doesn't take a lot of work. It probably takes longer to cut the pattern out than it does to actually sew it. Um, so you can really put a lot of detail. I love that you can do it in a lace for going out. I think it'd be a beautiful uh, sort of shawl style poncho to wear over maybe a strappy evening gown. So a stretch lace would be perfect to stretch mesh and the floatier the better. I think you could really use your imagination and come up with some beautiful ideas. So remember, it is impossible to feel unhappy with a poncho you on if you want to feel glam and fearless and you want to be comfy and cozy definitely think about the with love poncho to add to your pattern collection and they are really great things to layer to mix and match of course pictured in the video is the beautiful palazzo pants now i had a lot of people ask me in the last video what pants was i wearing with the timeout tank it was in my 
summer tops episode those palazzo pants have been the ultimate staple thing right throughout summer i've made some three quarter and some long length ones i've got some fabric on order some beautiful liverpool fabric on, on order in a black and an olive green to make some full length winter ones because they are the pants that i reach for again and again they're great for dressing up and dressing down for all seasons so all those patterns are linked don't forget the pattern is still on sale at the moment till sunday night and a great time to get yourself a bargain think about getting creative with your fabric choices of course you've got so many options if you want to make a sporty version you can do that with the little ties and the hood I know Kate made a mesh one that was really cute as well and I think it'd be perfect to wear to yoga especially when it's when it's that kind of trans season or whether you're wanting to pop something over when you're coming out of maybe a sports session um, but you still want to look a little bit put together as well if you think of like sports zip up kind of style jackets this is a really lovely alternative definitely a great pattern for utilizing different variations for dressing up and dressing down so if you want to revisit your inner child of the 70s by all means go ahead and make one and see what you think i absolutely love mine i'm really really glad i made this pattern because as i say sometimes you get out of your comfort zone a little bit and you can surprise yourself with what beautiful garments you can make and i'm loving anything drapey and fluid at the moment just those gorgeous long lines it gives to the body and also there's nothing better than being comfortable and glam at the same time if you've enjoyed this episode today i would really appreciate a thumbs up because that helps other people like you find my channel so until next time keep safe and keep sewing we'll see you soon bye for now